What's up guys, Rob here from Decoded. In my last video, I showed off five of my favorite little blender features that you might not know about in three minutes. That video got a really good response. A lot of people said they found it very helpful. So I thought I would follow up with another five of my favorite features. Once again, we're gonna do it in about three minutes. So let's get started. Okay, so the first feature I want to show you here is an improvement to how you use Booleans. If you have an object like this monkey mesh and you apply a Boolean to it, and you want to remove this cube. The problem is that when we move the cube into place, we can't really see what the shape is going to cut out like until we've already applied the modifier. And if it's not right, we have to remove it and do the whole thing again. Well, what we can do instead is we can select this uh, cube, go to the object panel, and underneath viewport display, if we change this from solid to bounds, then we can see exactly what the cutout's going to look like. We can also move it and get an image in real time of exactly how this is going to cut out. Not only is it much easier to uh, apply booleans like this, but frankly it's just really fun to play with. My second tip is for isolating objects in the viewport. If you're working on a big scene with multiple objects, it can sometimes be a bit of a pain to navigate around them and see exactly what you need to see. If you select an object and you press the period key on the numpad, then the camera will now, well the viewport at least, will now orient itself around that object. So you can just select different objects and quickly snap to them. You can also press the uh, forward slash key and that does the same thing but it also hides everything else in the scene. Press it again and it brings everything back. When you're working in Blender, you can sometimes end up a bit lost off where you can't actually find the objects in your scene. You can look around here and it's hard to tell where they are. If that ever happens, if you press Shift and C at the same time, then it'll snap you straight to the center of your grid. Also, if your 3D cursor is off the center and you want to move it back, you can just press Shift and C again and it'll always snap the cursor straight back to the center. If you have multiple objects that are near each other or overlapping, it can be sometimes a bit of a pain to select the right one. If you hold down the Alt button while you left click, then Blender will show you a list of all the objects it thinks you might be trying to select. And then you can just pick the one from the list that you want and jump to it. The final tip I'm going to show you is a method to quickly cut meshes into two. If you go into edit mode with everything selected on a mesh and you do a search for the by select tool, then it works just like the cut. But once you've finished, it'll make a cut that goes all the way through the mesh. So you can quickly split your mesh into two different segments. If you know any cool little time saving tips like this for Blender, please leave them in the comments below. Loads of people were leaving them on the last video. I found out a lot from that. I'm sure other people did. Also, if you'd like to get access to exclusive materials, assets, and tutorials, or you just want to support this channel, please consider subscribing to my Patreon. I'll leave a link to that in the bottom below so you can check that out. I'll also link the uh, last video so you can have a look at that.